One more time. Psalm 92. Psalm 92. We'll be coming from scripture reading. And for this noon is Psalms 92. You have to say amen. 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 We'll read uh, 15 verses of it. Amen. Uh, verse 4 says, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and, and thy faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings and upon a sorcery, upon a harp with a solemn sound. For thou, thou Lord, has made me glad. O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knows not neither the When the wicked spring as the grass, and when the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. Put thou, Lord, our most high for lo, thy enemies, O Lord, for in thy enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shall now exalt like, like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be exalted like the fresh horn. Excuse me. My eye also shall see my desire of my enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire of the work of, of excuse me of the wicked. That rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like the cedar of Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall spring forth fruit. That's verse again. To show that the Lord is upright is my rock. And there is no unrighteousness in him. Judah, we grateful for 15 verses of the Psalms 92. Amen. Lord, bless me. Know the word. Beloved, you may be seated. That you may testify and tell the goodness of Christ we have. Amen. Praise God before we go. Amen. Into our service. Amen. Remember, Pastor Dave, we are in charge. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's a good thing to give praises to the Lord. Glory be to God. God is good. He's worthy of my praise. When I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, yes. my very soul cries out. Hallelujah. And I thank and I praise God for saving me. We do honor the Lord this morning to our chief apostle, all the elders, the ministers, everyone in your right for place. We praise God for another opportunity to be in the land of the living one more time. We come give him praise. It is a good thing to give praise. He has been good to me. Allow me to yet wake up this morning clothes in my right mind. And I come to bless his name and let him know that I love him. I adore him. I appreciate life. Once again, the Lord has smiled on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I come to praise him. I come to glorify him. I come to lift him up and give him praise and honor and glory. He has been good to me. Glory to God. And I can sum it up and say that the Lord is good. He has done great things whereof I'm glad to be in the land of living. I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost, filled, fire, baptized, speaking in tongue as the Spirit of God give utterance. So we are grateful to be here. Y'all pray for me and I pray for you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, prophets. Amen. Nothing like that mother's morning, boy. Get up, everybody. Woo! I love that. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. I know can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. I know can't nobody do me like Jesus, can't nobody do me like the Lord, I know can't nobody do me like Jesus, he's my friend. You know he picked me up and he turned me around, yes he did, he picked me up and he turned me around, I know he picked me up. And he 
Turn me around, cause he's my friend. I know he healed my body. Told me to run, no, he healed my body. Told me to run, no, he healed my body. Told me to run, no, he's my friend. Amen, the church, amen. Amen. True, that's a portion of my testimony. Can't nobody do me like Jesus, you know, because, you know, truly, you, you know that he's our friend, amen, praise the Lord. And he's a friend that can get closer to the brother, amen, praise the Lord. Truly, amen, I'm grateful, amen, that God has smiled on me, that he touched me with love and grace, amen, praise the Lord, amen. in Jesus' name. And only a God that can do that, amen, and praise the Lord. And what I love about him, amen, inside of all that is going on, don't I can't even find out to know that he is still good, ministering, despite of all that's happening. You know, the, all that you, you, you just going through and God said, just give me thanks. I never forget that one time that I was just so present, like a hard rock and clean, a hard place. And I seen, you know, that the dog said, said, just give me thanks and praise. And I said, and I said, at a time like this, he said, yes. Woo! Amen. Woo! Yeah. I was going through so much and he, God said, just praise me now. Yeah. And I said, at a time like Woo! this. God said, yes. yes. Woo. <laughs> he let me know he sees and he knows all, but he yes. still need to be lifted up. Yes. And when you do that, and they've already been taken care of yes. what you're going through. Amen. And I came to find out ministry, you know what? And in doing that, you get light. Woo. Hallelujah. What was on you in now, it just done went. Oh, my God. You didn't even know you forgot all about it. You just go on and praise him. But yes. I'm so excited and grateful. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for this first Sunday. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor's age, we in charge, and we thank God for our chief apostle, Joseph T. Robinson Sr., in the midst of us, and you know, at this all this week, saints, beloved, you know what I've been thinking about? So many pastors and leaders have gone on. Yeah. Ever since after their anniversary, March 14th, all certain shift just started to transition. A lot of people we fellowship minister that, that, that found out a phone call, gone. If they was a missus and their wives, oh, their yes. wife was right behind them, gone. You know, but God is so good. Yes, I said, well, Lord, I just want to thank you and appreciate yes, our pastors that they are here. And not only that, they are still being grace thank by the love of Jesus Christ. And what I love yes. about it, they're still about their father's business. Woo! Amen. Amen. So God lay in sight. So, Lord, I just want to just thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name. It's because I find out it can be hard without a pastor. Why? Because God gave us pastors yes. after his own heart. And, you know, I've, 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 I've encountered that one time, you know, when I first lost our first pastor. I'll never forget. That was my conviction. You know, this is a testimony that his last words of sermon that don't play with the devil because the devil's a dirty fire. Right. Woo! Mm -hmm. And after doing so, minister, he turned and looked at the congregation and dropped dead in the church. Mm. The late Reverend Cunningham, a unity missionary. And that was a conviction spell on my heart. So when it was down to pastor, you know how it is. People come back and forth. They're trying to choose to get the pastor who's going to be next to preach up. But, you know, I'm so excited. It makes me go to appreciate our leaders because oh, yeah. oh, there's yeah. so much that they carry that we don't know. So much that they offer up to God and lay before us. Amen. Sleepless nights, you know, but I believe God will turn half their lives to comfort them in the time he So we ask much that we continue to pray much for each other and pray for our chief who brings forth the bread of life. And whatever direction the Lord lead him, amen, in Jesus' name. Will it be another testimony?